Sean Canyon, uh, founder with Starbound Space Systems. Uh, welcome to IAC 2024 and Australia in Space TV. Thank you, it's great to be here. Wonderful. Uh, you know, you've just presented a paper here as well, uh, but you're focused on LLMs, and I think the other reason we're having you on is this is a pre-speaker interview for the Indo-Pacific Space and Earth Conference on, in Perth, uh, alongside the Asia-Pacific Space Agency Regional Forum. Uh, on the 26th of November. So it's great to have you on and looking forward to your presentation in Perth as well. Really excited. Wonderful. Uh, maybe introduce us to Starbound and also your talk today. I think uh, from their audience uh, they can get some insights into what you are talking about. Sure. So Starbound is an AI company but we specialise in developing AIs that help systems engineers in, right. in space companies. So I've been a space systems engineer for 18 years and the biggest pain that we have is all of the documentation, particularly around compliance and it's something that system engineers get pulled away from doing engineering work to do and it can really increase the cost of a mission. Up to 30% of a whole mission cost yep. can be paperwork. So shouldn't there be an AI to automate <laughs> this now? And um, what we found is it's a really tricky problem and wherever there are tricky problems there's a, there's a solution to really help people that has, that has real depth and value. Uh, so this is a large language model? Correct. Yeah. So we use large language models, but not on their own because you can't trust them on their own. Yeah. Um, so what we do differently is we have a knowledge database that backs up the large language model. And where we build that knowledge database is very, very new. And we have a different AI that builds that knowledge but directly from humans, and that's what I was presenting here today in IAC. Well, you mentioned it was Pinth? Uh, Pythia. Pythia. Uh, so maybe that's uh, a unique approach, is it? Or it's a name? We were talking about it. It's a Greek name, it's but yeah, a, maybe yeah. a bit more on Sure. That. So it's a Greek name, and it refers to the high priestess of Delphi, and the Delphi method is the method that we use to elicit knowledge from people who've been there, seen it, done it, made the mistakes, and so we can digitize that information from humans and then allow the AI to reuse that knowledge from humans. Is it a prompt LLM as well? They, they prompt it and it It's an interviewer. Answers? So yeah, right. um, what you're doing to me right now, <laughs> Pythia can do that to engineers. Not be intelligence though, that's the only thing. Um, the other one is you're being applied with LatConnect60. Uh, they're going to have a booth at IPSEC as well. But yeah, how, how are you working with LatConnect60? So we're delighted to work with LatConnect60. They were our first customer for our first um, AI called Virgil. And Virgil um, really streamlines the process of paperwork, particularly around um, compliance, launch licenses, all of those sorts of things. So we, um, we work with LatConnect60 to help with their SWERSAT mission. And um, basically make that whole process for launch licensing as smooth as possible. So a compliance tool as well or is it... Uh, it's very much a compliance tool. And it's generating uh, sort of compliance reports or maybe a, can you give us a case study or a, a case example of what it would create? Sure, so the real, the real term we like to use is gap analysis yeah. and that comes in all kinds of flavors so sometimes you have a customer to contract a gap analysis where you, where you have a review or sometimes you've got an internal gap analysis where you want to make sure that you're compliant before you deliver something. Virgil can help in both of those cases and with LatConnect60 we're using it very much for um, seeking all of the correct approvals for launch licenses. Well I think the application for that from a startup uh, company is very very important. It's obviously saving them on time and money which is uh, your business case. Uh, we're standing next to the Australian stand here so obviously we're leading up to IAC 2025, but Sean, we'll see you in Perth for IPSEC uh, on 26th of November. But thank you very much for joining us today on Australia in Space TV. Can't wait, thanks.